Terry McAuliffe is putting the spotlight on education funding as he launches his bid for governor. McAuliffe enters a Democratic race that already includes three prominent black elected leaders. But McAuliffe says his proven leadership is needed to help Virginia recover from the pandemic. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey has the story from Richmond. As governor, Terry McAuliffe always pointed to job creation as one of his top achievements, but he's opening this campaign with a spotlight on education funding. As the pandemic increases inequities and achievement gaps, he promises to boost teacher salaries and get all kids connected online. We are going to make the biggest, boldest investment in education in Virginia history. Mm -hmm. yeah. We spoke exclusively with McAuliffe just before his kickoff and asked why he's not focused instead on the pandemic's job losses and business closings. I can't recruit the jobs of the 21st century, bring them to Virginia, unless I have a high quality education system. So for me, they go hand in hand. McAuliffe will compete for the Democratic nomination against three African-American elected leaders. By his side today, high profile black leaders who are supporting him. For me personally, I mean, he asked me to chair the state party, so he does open up doors to African Americans. I would not have, you know, likely no one would have asked me to do that. McAuliffe now seen by many as the immediate favorite in the race, but political analyst Bob Holsworth says some Democrats are looking for something different. I think the big question about the McAuliffe candidacy is how many Democrats really feel that he's not the person for this particular moment in Virginia and American history. Here's how McAuliffe responded when I asked if his candidacy stood in the way of Virginia's next black governor. And I'm proud of the support that I have from the African-American community. Many of the leadership have actually come to me and asked me to run. But Bob Holsworth adds McAuliffe left office in 2018 with positive ratings, a popular figure among Democrats. Another potential advantage for McAuliffe, money. The political action committee he set up over the summer already has $1.7 million. In Richmond, Virginia, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. One Republican so far is seeking his party's nomination. It's former House Speaker Kirk Cox. Republican Amanda Chase says she's going to now run as an independent after the GOP decided to hold a nominating convention instead of holding a primary.